Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to my Ella apostles and Bishop Ellas of Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? And we're scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great and abroad. To you I say Shalom and Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Rataza. This lesson is edifying and informative. From the Guardian The Caribbean island of Trinidad grapples with a national crisis of violence, killings of women and girls in Trinidad and Tobago have reached an all-time high while police and politicians are failing to tackle rising crime rates. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 9 You women who live an easy life free from worries listen to what I am saying you may be satisfied now, but this time next year, you will be in despair because there will be no grapes for you to gather. You have been living an easy life, free from worries, but now tremble with fear. Strip off your clothes and tie rags around your waist beat your breasts in grief because the fertile fields and the vineyards have been destroyed and thorn bushes and briars are grown on my people's land from the GNT now from the King James Again, this is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech, so you careless daughters of the nation of Israel. Hear the words. Hear the voice of Yahweh, Bashem. Yahweh Shai through the mouth of his prophets. Give ear unto my speech. So listen carefully to what the Lord Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai is going to tell you here in the following verse through the mouth of his prophets. Many days and years shall ye be troubled because the days of great trouble, that is, of Jacob's trouble, is near. Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace, that is, the people, and there shall be none. And when people are, are going to be promised peace and safety, then sudden destruction, which cometh, will come suddenly upon the people, as travail does upon a woman pregnant with child in the ninth month, unexpectedly, when they least expect it. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. And you men too, mainly, 
because you are the heads. But you women aren't exempt either because judgment is coming for the wicked women of our nation that are careless. They live very comfortably, very complacent. They're very negligent. For the vintage shall fail all your benefits that you enjoy in this society. Eventually, it will all fail. It will all come to an end. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. So you ought to be trembling. Tremble at these words. Of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is likened unto a trumpet, and shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Hmm? The careless ones. So, this message is to the careless woman, the careless daughters of the nation of Israel. You are being warned to hear the voice and give ear unto the speech. Of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, because if you don't, stuff like this will continue to happen. And it's coming on a much wider scale here into America, Babylon, the Great. Now, let's read this article and then we'll go back to the scripture because the phone is uh, running a little bit of juice. So, you know, I'll just go through it real quick. I was looking for an article. <laughs> You know to do a lesson on and uh i came across this so the spirit said to do you know do a lesson on this and uh, abaratiza it is edifying to the elect all right so uh let's go it says uh the hurricane season is underway in the caribbean and by the way trinidad is occupied by you so-called uh, west indian the tribe of benjamin of, you know, with of course a mixture of Judah and Levi, but predominantly uh, Benjamin, and then you have a uh, Elam that is is mixed in there. You have some Asher, the Amerindians, and stuff like that. Why, why the Wapishian and the Caribs, so on and so forth. It says, but the tropical storms that uh, batter much of the region miss the island of Trinidad which is protected by its northern mountain range. It is one of the reasons that the grateful inhabitants who love their food, their vibrant carnivals and beautiful beaches. And I'm going to say this, man. You, uh, <laughs> you Benjaminites over there in, in Trinidad, it's, it's wild. It's, 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 no, uh, it's no coincidence that Trinidad is known for being one of the most uh, violent places as of now on, on the earth because you niggas over there you, you know, like wild bulls in the net as, as the scripture says it says like to say God is a trinity it says the birthplace of calypso steel pen and soca music a fusion of the African and Indian culture of these descendants of slaves and indentured laborers respectively <laughs> the tiny nation's musical influence is global but as of last month, the murder, and this is the point, the murder toll across the twin island state of Trinidad and Tobago was on track to overtake last year's all-time high. So a lot of Jakes have been getting murdered and killed over there in Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> as rates rise, more women are being killed than at any point in history. Check that out. As of May... This year's death toll was at 280. It's quite a lot, already overtaking the same period of 2022. A year which saw 614 violent deaths. So the Lord is pissed off at you Benjaminites over there in the land of Trinidad and Tobago. The Caribbean nation, with a population of about 1.5 million, now has the sixth highest crime rate in the world, so it's definitely up there. 
Trinidad and Tobago was once the richest state in the Caribbean, but over the past two decades, it has been dragged down by mismanagement of oil wealth, corruption, and drug trade, and an explosion in gun violence, gun crime, excuse me, and violence. <laughs> Photos of missing women appear on social media with regularity. Headlines of shootings are weekly. For women, it is a national crisis, says Dr. Gabriel Hosein. And the scripture says that jealousy is the rage of a man. So you have a lot of adultery going on over there too. A lot of adultery, a lot of uh, evil, wickedness. So the Lord is bringing judgment. <laughs> it says, because you went over there, you're, you're, you're comfortable. You know, you have, you're beautiful and all that. So, you know, you, women usually use their beauty as leverage. Okay. Which that's, you know, that's just only, that's only natural. But the time will come when all that will not matter. Because the Lord is going to completely cause this society to implode, to collapse. And the beauty of, of, of women will really become a, a curse unto them because a lot of men are going to start to rape them grab them up, rape them, gang bang them. It's going to become very lawless in society. Drew and Jacob's trouble. So, it reads on to say, a writer and lecturer at the Institute for, for Gender and Development Studies at the University of the West Indies. Foilence is so <laughs> endemic that it its reduction and prevention should be treated as a national emergency, Dr. Gabriel Hossian. The Caribbean has a significant feminist movement that is extremely vibrant. See that? That's that, fe that's that feminist movement bullshit. Oh, we can and they can't, this, that, and the third. You know? So guess what? The Lord is bringing all that shit to, to, to naught. Humbling a lot of you women through putting you to death. A lot of you still ain't taking heat. A lot of you still ain't listening. You, you have the prophets over there in Trinidad and Tobago. And guess what? You, you're still not listening. He's still scoffing and scorning. So the Lord is bringing judgment. It says, full of women who are articulate and analytic, analytical and progressive, she says. Like, you know what, man? I don't feel sorry for you, uh, you women over there, man. And and really, for anywhere for that matter, that's getting these kind of judgments because you're proud. We have been pushing for a national prevention strategy for violence against women for a long time. And I don't really do, you know, lessons like that on the women. I, I, I rarely do any lessons like that on, on women. But the Spirit inspired me to do this lesson right here. Okay, it says she believes a key problem is violence in homes. One in five women in Trinidad and Tobago report non partner sexual violence. One in ten reports sexual abuse as a child. Because you have a lot of beautiful women over there in Trinidad, a lot of beautiful Benjaminite women. Violence, and you know, they got here and whatnot. They're not, you know, not all of them are bald headed. It says violence is so endemic that it's reduction and prevention should be treated as a national emergency. The figures of child sexual abuse and incest are very, very high. By the time you get to femicide, no wonder it is also high. So, you know, it, this is all judgment from the Lord for all that wickedness, all that's going on now, there, all, you know, all that uh, incest, adultery, pedophilia, all kind of shit, man. So the Lord is bringing judgment and has been bringing judgment. Violence in the family is one of the major drivers for violence that happens to women later in their lives. Whether it's sexual harassment at work or on the street or intimate partner violence. And the violence becomes more and more lethal. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going gonna, gonna to leave it in the description box of the uh, lesson. And now let's get back to the scriptures and, and close the lesson. This is uh, back in Isaiah, chapter 32. 
again verse 9 rise up ye women that are at ease hear my voice so take heed unto the words of Yahweh which are spoken of through the mouth of his prophets okay you have brothers down there in uh, Trinidad ye killer's daughters give ear unto my speech many days and years shall, shall ye be troubled ye careless women for the vengeance shall fail the gather ring shall not come all your goodies you know, the, 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 the trinkets all these things are going to eventually come to naught they're going to fail the gathering shall not come okay there's going to come a point when your snap benefits your food stamps you know all these different things are going to get caught off tremble ye women that are at ease so hear these words and tremble be troubled ye careless ones strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins in other words humble yourselves and get into that state of, of mourning repent <laughs> tell you how about shimmy out shy start listening to your husbands it says they shall lament for the teats all the benefits for the pleasant fields for the fruitful vines so the Lord is going to eventually, again, cut off all of the uh, benefits that women enjoy in this in this country, man. So, you know, with that, I'll conclude the lesson. I want to keep it short and, uh, you, know, you know, batteries low. So I'll end it here and uh, shallow on to the elect.